Over its run, Arrow has created some of the best villains on screen. Some are really good, but some are also really bad. So today, I'm here to stop and rank all seven main Arrow villains from the worst to the best. Hey everyone, S Dub Nation here. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll post some more Arrowverse rankings or reviews. Please note that everything I say in this video is just my very own opinion. My list is certainly not the right list, so without further ado, let's get into the ranking. Kicking off our list at number 7 is Emiko Queen from Season 7. She has a great character and a really great motive how having direct ties to Robert Queen, but her plan is not the best, especially since the prison storyline had created such a great foundation for a good bad guy. But since her character does have a little bit of ties to Oliver before and after Lian Yu, I'm giving her a little bit of leeway here. But her scheme is just the worst. And it also doesn't help her that the Ninth Circle is worse than Emiko herself. Coming in at number 6 is Damien Dark from Season 4. The guy that plays him is having a lot of fun and he plays his role really well. His magical powers do not belong in Arrow though, his evil plans create stakes in the most ridiculous way, but stakes nonetheless. His powers are the cheapest effect I've ever seen and Star Wars does essentially the same thing. And his plan is pretty generic, but I like the fact that he was trained by the League of Assassins because it makes the combat a little bit better, but obviously the combat in this season is not the greatest because season 4 was at the bottom of my list for all the arrow rankings but I felt like he does a lot better in DC Legends because he gets to let go and he has a lot more freedom than he did in arrow yeah he was funnier in arrow yeah he was funny in arrow but I felt like he was funnier in DC Legends because he had a lot more room to let go and be more free in this role kicking off our top five list is Ra's al Ghul from season three Roz is one of those villains that is cool by name and appearance, but once they talk, they become so much worse. It doesn't help that Roz has nothing to do with Oliver Queen or the Arrow, which was his name at the time. In media nor comics, Roz has nothing to do with Oliver. Roz wants to kill his nemesis Damien Dark while also enlisting Oliver into the League of Assassins and also trying to make Oliver the new Roz al Ghul. Roz could have been a villain for the Legends as being a direct tie to Sarah Lance because she was trained by the League of Assassins but just like this season interesting villain just not a good execution and I remember seeing season 2 the League of Assassins showing up and being so excited for season 3 but this just falls so much on its face and it also does not help that the Dark Knight trilogy did something greater with this character 9 years earlier. Coming in at number 4 is Ricardo Diaz slash the dragon from season 6. I like the guy's acting, I wish he was the villain throughout the whole season though, and his fighting is so much similar to any type of skilled fighter in the Arrowverse. The dragon wants to take control of the city, which he does by the end of season 6, but we only see it to a certain extent in season 7, and the latter half of season 6. His backstory is pretty good also and it makes you feel sympathetic for the character and I felt sympathetic for the character and I felt that putting his episode inside of season 6 made the season a lot more better and one of the best episodes in that season. And I felt like making his voice so intimidating is what makes him such a grasping villain that you can hold on to and it also does help that everyone on the police force is on his payroll which makes him a crime lord. Kicking off our top 3 list is the Dark Archer from Season 1. Malcolm Merlin is only good with the costume on and in Season 1 and I felt like that was the best appearance. He is the first villain in the Arrowverse and the first to succeed in the end. Malcolm believes that what he's doing is right and John Barrowman sells you on this man believing in his mind that leveling the glades is the right thing to do, especially because his wife died there. Him being Ra's al Ghul was awesome but also pretty dumb. His death was acceptable but him in the Legion of Doom makes his character the suckiest out of all the characters. So glad they redeemed him in Season 5 of Arrow. Our runner up at number 2 is Prometheus from season 5. 
His whole motive is revenge. Adrian has no direct ties to Oliver Queen, but manipulates you into thinking he does. Adrian wants to expose Oliver's true side and motives. The actor does overact though, but his character does the one thing that no other villain has done in all of Arrow. He broke Oliver, saying that everything that Oliver touches dies, and Oliver just simply loves to kill. The only reason why he's at number two is because blowing up Lian Yu had stakes and was perfectly executed well, but he killed himself for no reason at all because the fallout from season six explained that William's biological mother is the only one that died. Adrian is the prime example of Oliver's past coming back to haunt him though, and I felt like Prometheus as a mystery gave a nice little bow on this gift that is season 5 as a whole. But coming in at my number 1 is Deathstroke from season 2, and I kind of battled back and forth choosing between Prometheus and Deathstroke because they are both great villains, but the fallout from season 5 and season 6 explain why I put Prometheus at number 2. Deathstroke actually kills Oliver's mother in front of Thea and Oliver and as the rivalry between Deathstroke and the arrow escalates so does Slades and Oliver in the flashbacks. Their interactions are so good and Mora's death scene is so suspenseful and it's all due to Slade's delivery. Slade is another prime example of Oliver's past coming back to haunt him. And Slade only wants revenge and he gets it in the best way possible, explaining and that keeping his promise that he will make sure that Oliver loses everything that he loves. This is why he comes in at number one as the best villain. All right, guys, that is it for the ranking. Please feel free to comment down below your ranking of all of the Arrow villains. You could do all of them, including Black Siren and Brother Blood, or you can just do the seven main villains like me. You can add in your villains. You could do the whole Arrowverse villains. You could do anything that you want in the comment section down below. So, like I said before, this is just my very own list. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Why do you do it? Because I wanted to. What? I want to. I want to! And I liked it!